All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn modern JavaScript methods by building football team cards. Step 17. All right. So in the last two steps, we've been accessing properties from the My Favorite Football Team object using dot notation and assigning them to new const variables. But in JavaScript, there's an easier way to accomplish the same goal, believe it or not. All right. So the object destructuring syntax allows us to unpack values from arrays and objects. All right. So we've got this object here. We've got const developer obj. We've got these two properties, name and develop, and pardon me, is developer. And so if we use object destructuring on this, we can say const name comma is developer inside of these curly braces. And we put these spaces here just to delineate that these are object, these are destructured objects, right? So they don't need to be there, but it's just to help us uh, know that that's what they are. Uh, and then we say equals developer obj like this. And so when we go down and do a console.log on name, it's going to equal Jessica Wilkins. And if we do console.log on the is developer, it's going to do go true. So instead of doing like name equals uh, obj, uh, developer obj dot name, we can just do it like this. And it saves a few keystrokes, all right? We don't have to have two lines of code and we can put a comma and all this other stuff, all right? So hopefully that makes sense. We'll go over it a little more down here. So we're gonna rewrite the two lines of code below using the new destructuring syntax. And our answer should be one line of code, all right? So yeah, just like this, we're gonna say const. We'll say uh, curly braces, let's say space space, and then let's press uh, the left key, the left arrow key. And then we'll say, um, what are we gonna say here, sport. And then also team like that. We'll go, we'll press the end key, we'll say this equals my favorite football team like that, right? So let's uh, let's check this out in the console. Uh, let's comment both of these out so it doesn't confuse us, all right? So now let's come down here and say console.log sport, all right? So we open up the console, football, all right? So we come up here. Remember my favorite football team, all right? So the name of this big object right here is my favorite football team, right? Dot sport is football. And if we change it, we look, we've got Argentina here because I don't want to scroll back up. Uh, if we change this to, to uh, team, check it out. It's Argentina just like this. So yes, I do agree this does look stupid, but the fact is it does work also. So instead of having to write this stuff out, we can just have this as a variable name and this as a variable name, and it accesses the um, the properties of this object, all right? So let's get rid of this, check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 18, and we'll see you next time.